Well, in case you didn't know, it is National School Bus Safety Week. This is a time for all of us to remind ourselves that we got to keep our kids safe as they travel to and from school. I spoke with Greensboro Police Officer Wade Kraus about this and why it's celebrated now, basically a couple months into the school year. Well, when, when school starts, we, we have a big media blitz and, and we, we're out actively working the school zones. We, we go real hard for, at it for two weeks for Operation School Watch. Well, then, you know, we're not out there every single day like we were, but we're still out there act actively working the school zones and following school buses and whatnot. So um, the reason they, I don't know the exact reason, but they may bring it up now as this is uh, school bus safety week because people get complacent. They, they forget that school's in session. They forget watching out for those school buses and uh, watching out for the children. Officer Krause says the biggest issue is when people are just unsure of the rules. The yellow lights come on. They give you a warning that the school bus is about to stop. And then once those red lights come on and the stop arm comes out, then you need to go ahead and come to a full and complete stop. And also know when, to st when you have to stop. So if there's a median dividing the road, so if you've got two, two or more lanes in one direction and two or more lanes in another with a median dividing it, then if you're on the other side of the road, you don't have to stop. If you're on the same side of the road as the uh, school bus, then you do have to stop. However, if there is two lanes, a center turn lane, and then two or more lanes on the other side of the road, the other side of the road doesn't have to stop. But if you're in that center turn lane or on the same side of the road as the school bus, then you have to stop. Okay, so it gets confusing, but the bottom line is two lanes, two lanes, and a turn lane in the middle. You don't have to stop if you're on the other lanes, not where the school bus is. If you're where the school bus is, obviously you got to stop. And if there's a median, you don't have to stop if you're on the other side too. Always you stop when you're in the lanes with the school bus, no matter what. That's probably the best way to remember it. But I didn't realize that center turn lane thing that you don't have to stop. And I said, I usually stop because I don't know. And he said, I'd rather mm -hmm. you do that than not. Just in mm -hmm. case. Yeah, because yep. what if a kid but darts you're, you're over? Not and, sure. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I think it's really important just to be vigilant too. We have a whole lot of distracted drivers on, yes. on the streets and just making sure, hey, if you see a school bus or an activity bus, be even more on guard because if you're questioning what to do, you're already thinking about it yeah. and you already know where you're going to go, where you're going to end up, where's an intersection, where what X, Y, and Z is. Well, um, and those little ones? they may run right out right. Yeah. So you just and never get confused know. on which way or That's some, right. I've watched one cross and then come back to the school bus and then cross again yep. so you mm -hmm. just never know That's why you kind of want to wait for even more stop. longer than That's you right. can yeah. so right. true. we'll be right back